Hello everybody, today we're going to be discussing how we can easily answer questions like this right here. If they give us all these fancy words, how do we translate that into math language? Okay, well this right here is going to be our little Rosetta Stone, okay? This right here is going to tell us if we have this phrase, here's how we translate it into a symbol. So let's dive in. If we see the word equal to, obviously we're gonna put an equal sign. If we see the word bigger than, that means this, smaller than means this, add means plus, subtract, multiply, and then the product of is X, and then also division would be divided by. Okay, we know that um, that's kind of your basic, your basic kind of um, applications of these mathematical symbols, but now I'm gonna show you some of the tricks, okay? So anytime you see the word what, you're gonna think of a variable like X, okay? X, for instance. Um, why? Because anytime the ACT is asking you what, they're typically asking you to solve for X. Anytime you see the word is, you're gonna is, you're gonna think of the equal sign right here. Is means the equal sign. Okay. Um, anytime you see the word and, that obviously means plus, of means multiply. And that should give us everything we need to solve this problem. So if X is 20%, so oh, one that one last thing, percent. If you break out percent. Per means divide and cents means 100, right? So that's the same thing as saying divided by 100. And so 20% is the same thing as 0.2. Why? Because it's 20 per cent, which equals 0.2, okay? So yeah, that works. So now let's dive into this question stem. If X is 20% of Y, so X, what I say for is equal sign, equal sign, and then 20% is the same thing as 20 divided by 100. So 0.2, what I say about of, it's multiply. So multiply of y. Look at that. We already wrote out our first equation, and we literally did it by just translating using the rule I told you. And then it says, and y is 30% of z. So y, what I say about is, it's equal sign, is, and then 30%, so 0.3. And then of, what I say of is multiply of z. And what percent of z is x? Okay, what percent, what I say about what, you turn that into X. Since we already have an X here, I'm gonna call it, I don't know, another variable. How about like A, then what, so A percent, percent of, here's our of Z equals X. All right, so we set everything up here and essentially we're trying to figure out what percent of Z is X. So how small is Z compared to X? So here we know that X is related to Y and then Y is related to Z. So we can actually substitute in our equations here to find out a little bit more. So we can do substitution, elimination, a whole bunch of other things here. Let's just give ourselves some more room. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, solve this equation in terms of Y. Okay, so X, equals 0.2 times y. So I divide by 0.2 to get y by itself. So x divided by 0.2 equals y. And now I have x. And now what I need to do for this equation is do the same thing. Let it equal y. And fortunately enough, it's already equal. So y equals 0.3 uh, z. OK, so now I'm going to substitute this y for this y. I'm going to substitute that y. Um, for this y, so I'm going to go ahead and get this eraser. So this y is going to be equal to 0.3z. Okay. So now, as you can see, I've got x in terms of z. So x in terms of z. If you want, I could even rewrite this. So just 0.3z equals x over 0.2. So yeah, I've kind of rewritten this. All right. So now what we can do is we can multiply both sides by 0 0.2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 0 0.2. Okay. And now I get, I'm going to scroll down here. Okay. So now I get 0 0.3 times uh, 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.06. Okay, when zero six Z is equal to, and this crosses out X. Now look at that. If you remember from above, remember from above, this should be very, very similar to what we've seen before. 
point zero six is the same thing as six over one hundred. Do you agree? Right? Six. So I could write this another way. I'm just gonna write this over here. Six over one hundred times z is equal to x. Whoa, what were we looking for? Remember when I said what? We called it x, or in this case, a? Well, that's six, okay? So 6% is what we've been looking for all along. And there you see the answer is going to be b, 6%.